Welcome to my automatic water change and overflow system. Thanks to the owners and staff at Aquarium Central for showing me how to run their drip system. Special thanks goes to Blue Dog 800 and other members from Canadian Aquarium Connection Forum. From our overflow units I found this on YouTube. This guy shows you exactly how to build them and everything and uh, just like to say thanks and they work awesome. Here's a quick view of the overflow. As you can see the airline goes all the way through to the bottom and then there's a, the drain hole is drilled right there and then just a half inch fitting put your drain line on and then I'll just nip the bottom of those just about a quarter inch above the bottom of the tube here at about a 30 degree angle and then I'll put the end caps on as for an idea to have a screen in front of the the drip holes what I've done is I purchased this Elite Stingray filter cartridge with carbon uh, they were discontinued so I paid three dollars for two units so this is what I've done with the unit I've taken it and I've removed the media inside and I've cut out the material so it will fit against the pipe so this way when I go onto the pipe it sits flush and it covers the hole so no debris can get in and block the hole. So we start over here by the sink obviously in the basement and then from the cold water compression fittings I've just spliced in a T and then uh, just changed one of the nuts and put a Teflon sleeve bushing in there and uh, brass tube to keep the tube from collapsing and then it runs down comes around to the other side attaches to a 25 psi regulator and then we go into a quick disconnect and then a shut off valve and then we go into a canister which has a carbon block filter in it to remove all the chlorine and then it carries on to another quick disconnect and then IPEX tubing half inch and then we run along the wall here and then all the way across to the other side under the steps so now on the other side we come down and through and then we go up the wall out the other end up and along the ceiling running to two T's then I have a nipple coming out and an end cap then I have uh, these threaded little fittings with barbed ends on the other end which I had to use coral glue because they were leaking a bit then I have my hoses running out of there I tried airline holes but they're a little bit too big and they were leaking constantly so I stopped by Hydrolite hydroponics store here in Edmonton and I talked to Cynthia which she was very helpful and I thank her a lot for that and she hooked me up with the lines and the fittings now one line will run over and down into the 180 which I have on the end of a little valve here which is roughly seven drops per second which will give me about eight gallons a day and roughly 56 gallons a week water change in the 180 now we'll go to the overflow unit which I have a hole drilled which you can't really see because of the screen I put in there it's just below the elbow which drips down into the tube and then the airline which goes from the bottom all the way up to the top and down the other side about a quarter inch from the bottom siphons the water out and then this is the water level here on both sides and then it drains out into a half inch holes which I have running along the wall at a sharp angle and the drain hole comes around the corner down and around and it just drains into the sewer which I have just zip tied to the cover there now 
together three tanks I have two 15s and a 20 set up the same way so I have it here for the two 15s I have it dripping roughly one drop per second and the 20 gallon is roughly dropping one and a half drops per second should do about uh, roughly nine gallons per week and same with the the other 15 little drip system that's going to change roughly probably seven gallons a week and then they all have the overflow units and what how uh, here is it's just comes out and it goes down to a T the 15 gallon and the 20 gallon together and then it runs down and then it runs to another T which I have the other 15 gallon which it'll drain down to that T and then all three tanks will drain down back to the drain again and zip tied to hold it in place and I'd like to say special thanks to the two gentlemen who helped me find couplings and fittings from Home Depot and that concludes my video I hope you enjoyed it